the left wing media is playing Monday morning quarterback when it comes to Florida Governor Ron DeSantis's Hurricane Ian response. Some in the media are claiming the governor's evacuation efforts, specifically in Lee County, fell short. But DeSantis is standing by his decisions and he pushed back at one CNN reporter who questioned his choices. Why do you stand behind Lee County's decision to not have that mandatory evacuation until the day before the storm? Well, did you, where was your industry stationed uh, when the storm hit? Were you guys in Lee County? No, you were in Tampa. So that's, you know, they were following the weather track and um, they had to make decisions based on that. Kaylee, just destroying that reporter with facts and figures. Yeah, with facts that you can't deny. Look, as a lifelong Floridian, I've lived through these storms. You see them change. Charlie, for instance, was supposed to hit Tampa Bay hours before shifts to Port Charlotte. Number two, you have to balance factors. Um, mass evacuations can cause mass problems and headaches. We saw that with Hurricane Rita, where there's a 2.5 million person traffic jam. You can't just evacuate the entire state. Um, but number three, and just quickly, the governor's team put together a nearly five Five minute video you can watch on his Rumble account of all of the times he said evacuate, mm -hmm. stay safe. Uh, the eye can shift, he said on September 25th, September 26th, be safe, finalize storm preparation, September 27th, we have shelters open everywhere. Um, he talks about Southwest Florida evacuating. Literally, you can watch five minutes of this. So Maggie Haberman, enough with the tweet. Journalists, enough with the blame game. This is purely politics as they try to down someone who's been touted as a presidential candidate. And that's sad. It is sick to play politics on the backs of hurricane victims. But that is what is happening. Go watch the five minute video. That's right. And Lisa, your girls, Joy Squared, weighed in as well. <laughs> oh, gosh. Where they, they oh, also decided. Sure to... she did, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them. Here, check it out. We'll get your thoughts on the other side. <laughs> Isn't it socialism when the, the government helps you? Uh, and um, This is the quote from Governor DeSantis yeah. about climate change. Quote, I am not in the pews of the church of the global warming leftists. This is what he thinks about climate change. And now his state is getting hit with one of the worst hurricanes well, that perhaps, they will ever see. It's not even executive leadership. He is simply, all he has to do now is open up his arms and receive federal money. Let's just be clear. That is the executive sure. leadership. He's now got to go hat in hand to Joe Biden for aid. Right. It's something he didn't even believe in as a Tea Partier. What is she talking about? <laughs> I guess, there's not enough time in show to parse which, out those comments. I, which I, time do we I have? Can't, exactly. <laughs> to pull my hair out now or, or later. Uh, for Joy Behar, there is a category three in Florida in 1851. So, you know, you might want to retract your idiotic <laughs> statement. Uh, you know, look, I, I, what this shows to me is there's nothing else to attack Governor DeSantis on, besides the fact he's not a fortune teller. And as he was pointing out, even CNN, everyone was following the models and they thought Tampa might be, you know, in, in, in worst hit, right? So that's where they were located. And what people forget is it's up to local officials to give out uh, these. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're the ones that are supposed to give us these warnings, the evacuation warnings. Uh, secondly, Governor DeSantis mentioned at least seven times in the three days prior to landfall, warning people on the Gulf Coast, telling them to heed evacuation orders. And what people don't understand is for evacuation orders, you don't have the police going around door to door, pulling people out of their homes. It's up to you. It's up to you to decide. And thankfully, what we had with the DeSantis administration is even before and after just a well executed machine of getting out what we need to do to save people and now in the process of saving lives. And since I become a Floridian, I have got to know Governor DeSantis well and his team as well. He is one of the most competent people I've ever met in my entire life, not even just for a politician, period. The man is brilliant. He is organized and that speaks for his team as well. We as Floridians could not be in better hands than with Governor DeSantis and we've already seen that. So the only thing they can attack him on, he's not a fortune teller. Right. That, that's yeah. the attack. He's yeah. supposed yeah. to be able to predict this stuff when no one else did. Spare me. And even yeah. that, Harris, you know, the, the issue of receiving federal aid for mm -hmm. your citizens, that, that's actually, that's, it's such a misnomer to call it um, an issue of federalism and that a Tea Party would have been against it because that's, that misses the entire point, right? One focuses on authority and autonomy and sovereignty and one focuses on the fact that FEMA is a federal organization and that all Americans will, yes, be uh, the recipients of federal aid in yes. these times of natural disasters. What's interesting, just before the show, I was talking to Lisa in the green room, and there was also someone else there. He was there right after you left, um, who felt a different way about the governor politically. But he said, regardless how I feel about him, and he lives in Florida, yeah. he said his response was excellent. He said, you, yep. it undeniable 
excellence. And so, however, we have this media that just insists on ripping him apart when all Floridians are grateful for everything that he did under that emergent situation. Well, all the yeah, I, made. Unfortunately, yeah. I didn't see the dateline on that, so I don't know if that happened before or after Kamala Harris's comments, but I would say this. You can't have it both ways. You can't say that only people in diverse lanes get the aid, and then, oh, by the way, if you're asking for the aid, um, you're, you're just federally constipated right. like you you shouldn't get anything <laughs> <laughs> because you don't deserve it because you were a member of the tea party like which is it going to be how does that figure into it okay fact for joy reed joy bayar joy squared or whatever <laughs> there have been six <laughs> major storms in florida in the last 57 years the 50 years before that there were 16 so can we throw the climate change out the window now yeah, and get back right. to facts can i say one more thing about governor desantis just real quickly at one point days ago before landfall, I thought he did a really copious job. I mean, it was detailed of if you think you can't leave, I can help you find a place to go based on what your options are. It may not be a shelter, maybe it's some place that a friend lives. You don't have to go 200 miles away to get away yes. from landfall. Yep. And he was just trying to get people to just get moving. Just go someplace with somebody who might even be closer in than in Orlando. Now, as it turns out, he had to further that message a day later with, you know what, no matter where you are, you may not be ordered to evacuate, but I need for you to stay in your house. Well, and Lee County even had evacuation orders. I believe it was 24 hours before. So, you know, no. They tried to get the word out, and you know we do the best we can in these situations. So, yep. yeah. And to your point, he did an excellent job because now all the criticism is focused on totally irrelevant things like politicizing everything about it. But we can ask about it, and he'll give the answers the way he did. That's right.